So we know eight people were hurt and one person died. We don't know if that's one of the eight students injured. Five of the injured were taken there to Littleton Adventist Hospital. Three have already been released, but the other two remain in serious condition. CBS 4's Jamie Leary joining us now with more new information. Jamie? We've kind of had a bird's eye view all day from the AMC Highlands Ranch Theater up here. And right now they just opened West County Line Road. Uh, one single uh, police car still standing by there. We've seen a couple of students trickle out of the school. So students are still in the school that we've seen. But I want to give you a closer look at what some of the things that were going on looked like when we first arrived here, Karen, Rick, and myself. It was a pretty chaotic scene. Um, when those first shots were fired, we heard from Sheriff Tony Spurlock here just a bit ago. He said uh, 911 was called almost immediately after that, and Douglas County arrived on scene along with some partnering agencies within two minutes here. Right now, Sheriff Spurlock says things are slowing down. Uh, they're going to take time to process the scene and pay attention really to those who were directly impacted by this incident. Well, I can tell you that right now the, to the parents, um, we are going to do everything we can to investigate this to determine what happened. We are working very closely with the STEM school and the Douglas County School District on, uh, on that, that process. Um, this, is a, this is a terrible event. This is something that, that no one wants to have happen in their community. Right now, what we do know about the suspects is that they were likely students at the school. That's what the sheriff has told us. Uh, that's what he believes. They were students. We don't know much more other than the fact that they were not among those injured. They did make it deep inside the school, but the sheriff has declined to comment on the tactics used uh, as well as the weapons used. We'll continue to follow this story. Jim and Karen, back to you. 